you thinking I'm lying, put me wrong, bitch Call what it is, we on ball shit Don't get it wrong, cause I'm on shit Real young nigga with my own shit Real young nigga with some more shit No, I don't usually show emotion Don't get me wrong, cause I'm wholesome Yeah What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Bossy, and I'm back with another video Today we got a same day upload, or should I say same night? Y'all niggas hit me up on Instagram, which I fuck with, and y'all was like, yo, corporate just dropped. I literally think he just dropped like 30 minutes ago. Actually, I think he's premiering this shit live as I'm reacting to it. So shit, nigga, I'm early to the party. We got part 105, part 12. I'm really curious to see what this nigga did. I, you know, and, and, and you know what? I, after all these parts, bro, I just know corporate hopped out and said something. I just know he did, bro, because remember, it was either he hopped out and confronted the nigga, or he stayed under the bed and, let, and watched his baby mother get clapped. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like I said, if you taking an L, just continue to continue to take an L, cause you gonna take a worse L hopping out on this nigga. This, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But I just know this nigga hopped out. We gonna get straight to it. Don't forget that pussy ass talk shit. Mm, 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 mm. Homebody Shane in the streets. You ain't gonna get me copyrighted. Whoop your shit. Whoop your shit. Let me pay you for that pussy. About the book your shit. <laughs> Blessings. I'm already knowing. Y'all ready to get the Black Chicago Be Like Part 105, Part 12. But before we start tonight's episode, I gotta let y'all know about an opportunity. Nah. We not finna hear y'all, bro. Fuck with him. Oh, God. On the last episode of Dragon Ball Z. Nah, but on the last episode of Black Chicago Be Like Part 105, Part 11, Cookie was really struggling with the murder of her brother. It was rough being his killer and her comfort at the same damn time. I had to do what I had to do in order to get my daughter back. Coincidentally, while Cookie was out of the room, Jacques ended up hitting me up to let me know where I could pick my baby up at. Finished that call right before she came back in the room to let me know that all her family was gonna be linking up at her pop's house. I told her I had to go bust a move for my little one, but I still slide to her pop's house for a sec just to give her some moral support. She appreciated the effort. I just made sure to have Big Twine on point to pick me up from her people's crib. I get over there, it wasn't nothing but rifles and military grade weapons in the midst of upset and angry family members her brothers weren't drawing off of me i'm trying to extend my condolences my folks weren't trying to hear none of that now her pops was cool but he was hurt and upset just like everybody else as he should be one of her brothers broke down crying while i was in there it was a heartbreaking scene to watch big twine hit me just in time letting me know he was outside i wished i could have stayed there with cookie but shit, her brothers ain't want me there no way i couldn't <laughs> even blame him no i remember that nigga me. Hopped up in traffic with Big Twine. He took me up to Wilma's famous barbecue where my daughter was supposed to be at. Jacques let me know at the last minute he couldn't make it, but his sister was in there. Oddly enough, it appeared my baby had a pleasant experience the whole time she was in their possession. She was all smiles. I wasn't gonna question God's blessings. I just took my baby and got the gone. It was finally confirmed I no longer had any business with Jacques. Of course, my baby mama called right after I got my line saying she needed her to come home. My BM sister was in town and wanted to spend some time with her. She hadn't seen her in a while. My line was happy about being able to kick it with her the whole time. My BM was trying to kick it with me. Her sister and my line left and then she kicked my homie out. She was not playing. We actually had a good time though. I'm talking about my folks was kicking it hard as hell. She ended up suggesting we have a confession session. I was skeptical at first, but I participated. Surprisingly enough, she took everything I told her like a champ. Me on the other hand, couldn't handle half of the type of shit that I told her, <laughs> but you know, that's how it be sometimes. All in all, everything ended up being copacetic until her dude text the time about he wanted to slide. You know I wasn't drawing, but she assured me that he wasn't gonna be there for long and for me to just chill. I obliged and let her do her thing, trying to be an adult about the situation. He ended up sliding through. She thought he was gonna leave, but 
he had other plans. Meanwhile, I'm still upstairs. They end up heading towards the same room that I was seeking refuge in. Before I continue this part, bro, this is the number one thing I be telling niggas. Don't pull up to no bitch crib. And two, if you gonna pull up to a bitch crib, don't pull up with no whip. This nigga got, this nigga is stranded, bro. Even if he wanted to dip, he gonna have to walk to the crib or wait on the Uber. That's where he fucked up at. See, I be I telling niggas, I tried to be bro. play about the situation, so I hid under the sofa couch. They real life came in the room. Yes, I was really in that situation. She was trying to avoid him being on some other shit, but to no avail. Unfortunately, she ended up giving in to his advances and leaving me with a front row seat to pound town on Broadway. Damn, that is crazy. And that is when I asked y'all for y'all <laughs> help. <laughs> So the people have spoken, and y'all have elected for me to come from up under this bed. Who said that? Hey man, that Say less. Why would you do that? If this man thought he was finna be able to crease in peace, he had another thing coming. With every moment that passed, I felt myself get more and more upset, and one no way I was gonna be able to contain it any longer. I instantly grabbed his ankles. Swept him under the bed. He fell back. I scurried from under the bed. He reached for his pole. My BM watching in disbelief. We end up tussling for the gun. My BM. Oh, my God. Shortly after, I... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I ain't even finna hold you. Not finna tussle with you while you got your mans out. You might as well shoot me. He. Whole time, I'm a real ass nigga. If I'm a pop you, I'm a pop your ass fan square. Fuck the time out. I then go and throw your trousers back on my guy and then motherfuckers gonna see what's to it. He say less and then proceeded to grab his jeans and drawers. I politely stepped to the side and waited for him to step back into his garments. My BM was just sitting there looking confused. He's gonna sit After there. After Buddy was fully dressed, he ain't waste no time. He instantly grabbed pipe, fucked him out. I say less. Let's see. What would you say we was at? Would you say we was about right here? Or oh, this nigga, nah, the gun nah. up about there? Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Baby mama, would you say we was about right here? She. Are y'all fucking serious? Ah, whatever. So, I, I, I think this about right. What you think, bro? He. Damn near precise, nigga. <laughs> looking befuddled. We immediately return back to tussling. Ah, <laughs> big hand. Fuck you talking about? I kicked the pipe. He tried to go reach for it. I put him in the headlock. He sent the elevator up. Slammed me down on the bed. BM, would y'all stop? Scorpion activity. He, get over here. He snatched me off the bed. Dragged me to the floor. And he, <laughs> get the stilling on my ass repeatedly. Ooh. BM, hey, I said stop. She had picked the pole up and upped it. D. Brooks unhand me. I get up off the floor. I, good job, babe. Nigga was about getting the best of me. Breathing heavy. You can go and send that nigga upstairs now. <laughs> we'll worry about the body later. She, I probably Joe ass while you talking. I, what? She, I need y'all to stop. Bay, he was over here. We didn't do anything. Harmless visit, I promise. Bartholomew, I need you to go home. I, right, so you choosing it to go over me? I'm your baby daddy. I'm the father of your child. I mean, I know I was whooping shit while you was in the hospital after you had Milan. But I was there for the birth. And I cut the umbilical cord. And you gonna treat me like this? She, look, you taking this the wrong way. Like I told you before, I just want us to be friends. You gotta respect the fact that D. Brooks is my man now. Hurt my soul. Keeping my composure, I... You know what? You right. My bad. Looking at D. Brooks, you got it, big dog. I'ma just call me a Uber and show myself out. My BM slowly lowered the gun. If she had never heard my feelings before, she did it that day. I ain't gonna lie. Him fucking that nigga. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Him fucking her on the, on the side. That shit got to hurt, bro. You just watched your baby mother get clapped by this nigga. And then she choosing this nigga over you. And you the mother, you the father of her child. That shit got to hurt, bro. I couldn't imagine being in that predicament. 
Fucking aside, imagine your baby mother choosing another nigga over you, and you you got a kid by her. Like, I know that shit happens a lot, and a lot of niggas eat that pill, but I know that's a hard one to swallow. Pause. I took my I L and evacuated one. the premises. At that point, I was officially done with her for real, for real. No, you're not. I got better treatment from Cookie than she ever gave me. I couldn't imagine how my BM thought it was okay to do me like that. The discomfort from the passenger seat being too far back on my legs ejected me from my thoughts. I, e e excuse me, ma'am. Um, could you let the passenger seat up a little bit? She, oh, you can speak now? You got in rude as hell. I said, hey, you ain't say shit up. Okay, cool. That's not a nigga. I, oh, no, I ain't mean to be rude. My bad. Deep sigh. I just got a lot on my mind. I was in deep ass thought for real. She, true, I guess. Cause Zara, could you get out that fucking phone and let your seat up, huh? Some dude was like, all right, my bad. And let his seat up. Now, whole time, his presence was unbeknownst to me first and foremost. Confused, I, oh, damn. I ain't know I ordered a Uber share ride. I thought it was just a regular X. I tweet. She, oh, no, I always have my man ride with me. Motherfuckers be out here tweaking. Bitches be coming up missing and some old shit. Ah, oh, uh, okay. Blew me for real. She, why you don't believe in protecting black women? Fire? What's to you? Doing too much. I ain't <laughs> had no interest in going back and forth with that woman. So I kept quiet. Out of nowhere, she, let me carry that to you. You're the man of my dreams. I want to fulfill all your needs. Oh, yeah. Let me cater to you. I admire your hustle. Stay in your doubtful. Her antics was nothing short of astounding to me. I, I Excuse me, ma'am. Can you turn the music on? She, what y'all like my singing or something? I got horns, but I was speechless. Something had to be wrong with shorty. She, cause I right, connect your phone to the Bluetooth and play whatever niggas like to hear. Cause if you leave it up to me, it's going to be a tank concert in this motherfucker. Dude in the passenger heat. For what? Why you can't use your phone to play that shit? She, the fuck? Cause you know, if you get a call and the bitch name pop up on this screen, I'm a ba da ba 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 McDonald's your ass, bitch. You not going to be loving it, fuck. He, man, what the you talking about? Y'all be doing too much. Oh, they be slick. Oh, I didn't even think about that. They be wanting you, they show me when you connect to the ox. Okay, all right, push you. All right, she put me on game. Hell nah. But now nah, I was thinking real quick, boom. I know a lot of people, they do the Uber Eats and the Postmates and shit like that where they, they significant other in the drive through which I understand, you know what I'm saying? You all day and driving and shit, you'd want to have your significant other there type shit. But wouldn't it make more sense? I know some niggas don't got two whips, but wouldn't it make more sense if you did have two whips to just split it and just hop on the phone with each other all day? Y'all make double the money. That's this high. That's my entrepreneurship. You want to be up to something so bad? She, yeah, I bet. You think I'm stupid? I crash out right now. You don't plug that motherfucking phone up. Ah, man, you you forgot you got a customer you transporting right now? She, what? Bitch, I don't get cool in the cars. You cool? I had to do my due diligence at that moment. I, oh, okay. You got a low star rating. It makes sense now. She, bitch, I don't give a fuck about no stars. I got stars on my pants. A Mary's fucking time about. Uh, hey, what the fuck is on your bird, shuddy? Dude in the front. Hey, chill out on how you talking to my lady, Scud. Motherfuckers don't even play them type of games, boy. Scud? Uh, you say what? She, you heard what my man said, fuck. Matter of fact, you can get the fuck out and pulled over. Ah, uh, hell no, nah, your ass tweaking. Dude, she said what she said. Cause you time about is you cool? Yeah, and Paul. flash pipe. Shortly after, I was curbside while they sped off into the night. As if I hadn't already been through enough for the day. All I could do was call another Uber. Luckily, it, it used to be pole. When did this transition from pole to pipe? It was cool when it was pole with pipe. It just sounded wild to was me, two bro. minutes away. Anything more, and I'd have froze to death. When I got home, Cookie was in the bed watching TV. I slide into the room. How that whoop your sh song go? I homebody Shane in the street. She in the slot. She turned to me, playfully rolling her ass. I, and every chance I get, I'm in her box. Slowly coming out of my coat, I get her attention now. I, you said you laid your babies down at 10 o'clock. Well, you ain't got no kids, but. You get what the fuck I'm talking about. She get the damn laughing. Ah. 
Oh, babe, you know I'm about to spin the block. Huh. And whoop your sh. Huh. And whoop your sh. Even in the kitchen, I'ma cook your sh. Whoop your sh. Huh. Whoop your sh. Huh. Putting on the show. I let me pay you for that. See, about to book your sh. I was wondering what it, it was. Spread up the arm. She, boy, song. you gonna need a lot more than thirteen dollars to get this month. I, I, I got you when I get my taxes back. She just laid back in the bed. I, how you feeling though, baby? She, I'm okay, baby. I really needed to be around my father and my brothers and them. I, I'm so happy to hear it. With a deep sigh. I, I just want you to know I love you so much. Slowly turning to look at me. She, I love you too, baby. What makes you say that out of nowhere? I, I don't know, just taking an Uber on the way back here. I was just thinking like, you one of the greatest gifts I've ever received. Can't be nothing but grateful. She, I feel you. After you just kill her brother? That's sweet. I, just my sincerest sentiments. She, sincerest? I, sincerest. And then, Dropped my jeans to my ankles and stepped out of them. She, boy, what type of trouble you trying to get into? And then licked her lips. I walk over to the edge of the bed. She, you ain't on shit. I, what? Who ain't on? Yeah, I. Yeah, I ain't fucking talking about And slid under the sheets. Head first. Making my way up the yellow brick road. The next morning, we was cuddled up. Cooling. She. I don't know. You might be giving that Rose a run for his money. Ah, oh yeah. So that mean I could probably box this mouth up and make some money off of it, huh? She, nah. I don't want nobody else to experience that contraption. Ah, say less. This model, discontinued, not for resale. You got the last one. She, period I, period uh. Ah, daddy hungry. Can you make me some pancakes? She, chocolate chip or regular? Ah, uh, I'm gonna go with the regular degular today. She, your wish is my command. I you ain't gotta... gonna lie, nigga, that's so hard, bruh. You whoop her shit and she go cook you some, ooh! You know what I'm saying? I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't for to make that shit no habit or whatever. Like, you ain't gotta cook for me type shit, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just whipped your shit and you cooked me some food. Nigga, I, nigga, that sounds so sweet. To do what I uh. asked to her. I hated to see her get up and leave, but I love to watch, to watch her, her walk away. Good grief. Nigga, show the angles. In Charlie Brown voice. It had been a minute since I felt some type of calm. This nigga selfish. I bro. picked my phone up to scroll through Facebook for a little minute. Couldn't tell you when the last time I logged in. I check my messages, nothing. I just so happened to check that back inbox and it's a message with footage of me murdering Cookie Brother. And it real hit me back when you see this message, gang. I'ma drop low the link up at. Bring as much money as you can. Bring anybody with you in this video viral. Bro, my head got the knocking, heart the beating, barely able to breathe. All I could think in my head is how, who, why. I instantly call Big Twine. He pick up. I, bro, I need you to pick me up ASAP. We have a big problem. He, what the, say less, I'm on my way. It was always something. Had me like, fuck. I had to get up and get ready to get out. Cookie. I bet money it was that nigga. What was his name? The one that told him to do the hit. I bet you he, he did it so he... Ooh. How you don't check your surroundings, my nigga? You know, this nigga literally got you in 4K and he like 10 feet away from you. How you ain't see this? in the kitchen getting breakfast ready. I come in, I babe. Some shit came up that I got to take care of. Big Twan finna scoop me. I appreciate you for trying to make me some breakfast though, but I got to get up out of here. She, oh, okay. Is everything okay, baby? Uh... I gotta do everything in my power to make sure it is. And then I rushed out the kitchen. Cookie ain't know what to think. Thank God she trusts me. Big Twine pull up. I hop in the car. I couldn't do nothing but look at him. He, bro, what's wrong with you? I was stuck. 
I couldn't do nothing but reach in my pocket, pull my phone out, go to the message, and hand it to him. He took the phone and looked, press play. Eyes got big as hell. He, who recorded this? I, I don't got no answer, Sway. I was on Facebook this morning, just happened to check my inbox. I see a message in that back inbox, the video sitting right now. It's from a fake page. They ain't even got no friends or nothing. Talking about link up at this time and bring as much money as you can and this the location. Woo woo, like straight extortion activity. I ain't gonna lie, if I'm big twine, I'm like, bro, I gotta stay. <laughs> I gotta get from around this nigga, bro. Oh, I can't imagine nah. who the f recorded this. I, I I can't I can't I can't even begin to pinpoint who could have possibly did this. Who who else, bro? I feel like I'm about to die. I'm about to die. If it get out that I kill her brother, what? In cold blood, they gonna sit me down forever. Not to mention Cookie and her family finding out. I was panicking in a different type of way. You hear me? Twine, boy, we gotta go get up with him. We finna beat the snot out this man. <laughs> uh, that's the thing. He said, if I bring anybody with me, it's being put out there. I can't even take that risk. If that video get out, life is over as we know it. Big Twan, boy, I'm not letting you go by yourself. That shit over with. You tweak SMH and I ain't no way around it. Too risky. Nigga, I'd be sweating. Sick as hell. I just got to see what's to that, nigga. I got about... 9,000 left. 9,000 left from when we hit that stain. I got to get that all to him. Big Twan. Man, I done ran through most of my money. I got 1,000 on me now. Now you got 10,000 to get to him. Ah, real nigga activity. Appreciate you, bro. This nigga Twan two down for me. Shout out to him. Hopefully it's a little goofy mop because that felt like 10,000 is all they need in life. Big Twan, man, you know what the going on share your location with me right now i know i can't go with you but at least share your location bro so motherfuckers know where you at smart thinking i instantly took my phone out and went to share my location with bro he you still got that pipe i gave you right ah hell yeah i could have really used it the night before but i won't finna forget it today he make sure you put them in your belt behind you bro just in case he want to pat you down you fuck around not find that motherfucker. ah for sure and went to go tuck it Right by my lower back in my belt. Big Twan, at least let me drop you off a couple blocks away from now. Ah, I'm too paranoid about this situation. I'ma just take an Uber over there and see what fool talking about. Big Twan, I right, bro, but if anything change, bro, hit my line. I'm pulling right up. Deep side, ah, Uber one minute away. I'm finna go see what's to that shit, bro. Think about it though, like, Big Twan probably freaking out himself cause now like, you got me in this predicament. I'm in 4K with your ass. You go down. I go down. So nigga, ain't no room for fuck up. You better handle this shit. Love. It was time to face the situation. My anxiety was on a thousand and I know it was killing Big Twan not to be able to slide with me. He told me to pimp around to the back of the location that he sent me. That had me walking through this parking lot that led to an alley. I get back there, I look. This dude walk up with some serial killer rain boots in a white coat looking mischievous as hell. I, I guess I'm supposed to be linking up with you. Nodding so, his head, he, yeah. You know what's going on. Check who, it out. Who the fuck is this nigga? And we start walking towards each other. He, man, what's up? How much bread you got for me today? Pulling the money out of my pocket, I. 10 racks. After snatching it out of my hand, he. 10 racks, that's it? Ah. That's all I was able to come up with. He, you know what? It's a start. I need at least a hundred bands though. I know how to come up with the other 90,000 though. We're gonna talk about that later. At that moment, I had a feeling it was gonna be a long day. He, matter of fact, let me patch your chairs down. Niggas you clearly be out here killing mom. Niggas is Heart beating now, cause I'm hoping he don't find a pole. By the grace of God, nope, he, I, right, you straight. I, I ain't on shit. I just came to try to get this situation rectified. He is definitely a situation. 
It's crazy how it even came about. You need to be more aware of your surroundings. He obviously caught me lacking somehow. He, I definitely ain't feel like taking the garbage out that night. I'm at the trash can. I hear some commotion behind me. I turn around and look. I see you up and on buddy across the alley. Just hearing this shit had me sick to my stomach. He, boy, I instantly up phone. <laughs> I see you get the blick in his ass down. Boom, 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 boom. I damn. Nigga, same Shock jacket. and awe. He, then I run to the front. Boom. I catch y'all, take a picture of the license plate. Right before y'all bent the corner. Oh, this nigga federal. Notated that real quick. Had me wondering if he ever put this much energy into research in school. He, so boom, I run the license plate. You know you can find anything on the internet. Search the name on Facebook. Your man's come up. Oh, Search through his friends list. Boom, found your dumb ass and here we are. I want to say this nigga federal, but maybe this nigga's a dumb smart nigga because he could have snitched, but instead he was like, let me make some money off this shit. They both wrong at the end of the day, but who who's really wrong? The nigga to kill the nigga or the nigga that's taking advantage of the nigga to kill the nigga? Come on now. I would have never imagined. He, I ain't going to lie. I ain't like buddy ass no way. Oh, you knew the But nigga? I do know he got a lot of brothers that would love to know who killed their sibling. Ooh. He won never lying. Made me think about what I saw at Cookie Pop's crib. He, now I got the ups on your ass. But it be like that. Anyway, ain't that a mock club coach you got on? Ah, yeah. He, whole time, that mother look like it's my size. I'm about this. <laughs> Fuck you. Off. Take this chalk, buddy. Thank you. Snatched it right off my body. He, matter of fact, here, this show coat. Let me put my shit on. And gave me the coat that he had on. It was frigid as hell, so I ain't had no choice but to throw it on. I was finna hate on the coat and they shit kind of hard, them, This bitch cozy, too. Good looking, Nick. One nothing I could say. He, matter of fact, where your phone at? I take it out. He snatch it. Fling it down the alley. He, you probably had the location on that. But that's all right. We ain't got to worry about that now. Twan couldn't track me now. He, we finna go and grab me a new outfit. Then we got some runs to make. Come on, let's go. And then he directioned me to walk the other way. Now he got me in traffic feeling like I just got kidnapped. I was gonna say I was finna hate on this nigga jacket, but that shit tight tough. I feel like Corbett could have took that nigga, bro. He really should have whooped this nigga ass. Told Quan pull up, <clears throat> Twan pull up, beat this nigga shit, pause, get his phone, smack this nigga a couple times with the blick, and get up out of there. You feel me? Now he finna go on a, a, a spa day with this nigga buying him shit. Like nah, bro. Like, mm. Driving. He. I guess he paranoid. So what though. you smoke, buddy? For anyway? S M H and I. Some. Sh he. True. It be like that sometimes. But I just got to thank God for this opportunity because I was out here fucked up. <laughs> but I'm finna get straight now. Shut up. I'm just thinking a real blessing. He, don't be trying no goofy either. I got that bitch on Facebook in a draft. All I got to do is click submit. And that bitch going viral. But you already know. That man had me by the balls for sure. We slid downtown to a couple stores. He bought him a new outfit, a chain, and all that. We walking back to the car, he, damn. I'm mad they ain't had no more motherfucking my clairs in my size, but this motherfucker do for now. The man really coat jacked me though. He, hey, what you think about this turtleneck, man? This motherfucker fly as hell, I ain't gonna flex. He was a cold soul, no question about that. He, hey, I'm finna tell the hoes my name. Frankly, your ass. Tweak it. <laughs> I just wanted them to stop talking. He, damn, man. Wish I had more time to shop, but we got to slide to this turkey drive for my peoples. Bring your chest on. We pop out to the annual exclusive 773 turkey drive. It was busting out there. We saw this dude in the crowd. Nigga, is that Cole Bennett? Wait a minute. Ain't that bull ass? Fucking check it out. We pimp over. He. Ain't you, buddy, that shot that? I took the wall to ah. pull. Ain't that you? Smiling. He, yeah, that's me. He, on oh, shorty, that's you. Whole time, I need you to go on ahead and come on, shoot one of these little woo wops for me. Cold. Ah, nah. Treated as dumb ass. He, man, buddy. We pimp off. He, hey, check it out. I need some of them good turkeys, bro. Dude, shit. How many, bro? 
heat shit i need three um i need one for my mama my grandma and my motherfucking auntie dude say less they up trace he i take your chest over there and get him the man really made me his real life slave i walk over they pile the turkeys into my arm they was heavy as hell he and you better not drop them off it's gonna be a misunderstanding and then not if for us to go i'd have had this man left we pulled up to some house to drop one of the turkeys off we walk up on the porch he rang the doorbell an old man hey grandson he what's up granddad how you feeling today the old man the sky last time i checked i'm all right he oh well that's good granddad where grandma go the old man she just ran out here to go to the store she be right back he oh, okay granddad i bought y'all a turkey for thanksgiving holding the turkey i nodded the old man oh yeah oh man that's all right thank you he all right go give him the turkey with your dave Chappelle with dreads looking at my folks was comedians at that point i passed the turkey to the old man he oh and granddad i got this cluck to rake up the leaves for y'all too i was a cluck i okay the old man okay thank you a lot grandson he no problem granddad we're gonna put the raking stuff back up when he finish the old man all right that's fine he come on boy with your ugly ass this nigga doing good deeds on my time hey what does a cluck mean i'm assuming that's like a nimrod or a buffoon right and directed me to come down the stairs he got me a rake and i started getting to it he damn hurry up bro with your man on the moon with a broom looking at <sighs> about 45 minutes later i was finished he all right good job beetlejuice now take the rake and put it on the side of the crib and we gone tired as hell i put the rake up we back in traffic heat damn shut your ass musty as hell <laughs> working like that of course i was he nah about that ninety thousand though i'ma need you to put some work in for that Ah, what you mean he real simple tonight i'ma have you rob this jewelry store Ah, rob a jewelry store he boy i ain't stutter chaz nigga you heard me you gonna rob a jewelry store Ah, and then what he shit you done now once you hit the jewelry store you give me all that you can delete all that shit on my phone you going about your business i ain't have a choice i all right he damn i should have took a bitch when i was at my grandma crib i'm finna bend in one of these alleys right quick i gotta take a piss he pulled over into the next alley we came to he bop out he, i see him he, if he left his phone opportunity personally I need y'all help. He wouldn't left his phone. As y'all know, I still got that motherfucker on me. Okay. It's a fucked up situation that I'm in right now, for real, for real. And I feel like, honestly, this the best time for me to take this nigga right up out this shit. He too much of a liability. And he out here treating me like I'm one of his flunkies. If y'all think I should just take this opportunity and get him right the fuck up out of here, Drop it in the comments and let me know what's up. Mm -hmm. And on the next episode of Black Shock will be like part 105, part 13. We're going to see what's to it. Let me know. Oh, oh God. God. <sighs> Murder this nigga. Rob a jewelry store. You're probably gonna get caught robbing the jewelry store. You murder this nigga. You're probably gonna get caught murdering this nigga. You're in the pickle, just like the other times. I ain't gonna lie though. What niggas don't think, and what niggas might not be wondering, who else got that video? He said he got that shit in the draft, but who's to say uh, he don't got another nigga? He not two steps ahead of you, and he got another nigga who got that shit ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Just in case this nigga try some fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You don't know who got their eyes up on it. You think a nigga like that keeping his mouth closed? Nigga won't shut up the whole the whole. 10 minutes he was with him. He probably let some nigga know. Some nigga know about it. Some nigga got a copy. He got to probably put, he put that bit in the group chat. Something. So he told somebody. So, I don't know. That opportunity, that specific opportunity that you think you got, I don't think you got that one. Find another one. The jewelry store, though, that's a risky one. Name one nigga that robbed the jewelry store and got away with it. I don't think, I don't think there's one nigga. You feel me? I don't know. I do want to see that nigga rob a jewelry store. That would be a cool video. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking for my nigga Corporate. I think, you know what I'm saying? Find another opportunity. 
Go plan C. Find another opportunity. It's going to be plenty more. A nigga want to shut up. You know his ins and outs. You know his grandpa now. You know what I'm saying? Hold that nigga hostage. Hold Graham's hostage or some shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't... Damn it. He got me thinking like a criminal. Nigga, hold on. Let me shut up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button. I hope y'all have a wonderful night by the time y'all see this. And appreciate y'all, man. Follow me on Instagram. Keep me tuned in. Send me videos you want me to react to. Me for balls. Tickets, TikToks for balls. Anything you want me to see. DM me and all the other shit. And follow me while you at it. We got this bitch. Good night. I know I'm not wasting my time. I know I ain't crossing the line. I know if push gonna shove when shit hit the fan, you gon' stand on the dime. I don't smash my own post. And now that I'm always gonna ghost. If I'm sick and you fake like so, I'm high life I come close my rope. I know you bitch. I know you a op. I know you fool.